Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have another What's Old video for you today. It's Friday, and this What's Old video is going to be for Friday and Saturday morning because our sales today are a little bit lighter than usual, and Saturdays are a pretty light day for us as well. So we're going to start following Kathy around to see what's sold for us over Friday and Saturday. We don't know what our sales are for Saturday yet because well, yeah. it is still Friday. Just <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> Hopefully, we, we have, have some. <laughs> yeah, some days we do have a lot, um, and some days we have like three. So, all right. We were kind of thinking we weren't going to be recording a video today, just because. Yeah, I almost because well, when I woke up, I had only had like one sale so far. Yeah. And then I got a couple more, but like you'll see, one is like a break even, and yeah. one is so. Then we had a viewer sale, so I didn't want to skip that. And right. Then, we got a few more, so. Oh, I'm sorry, Bubba. Chris just tripped. I just tri he had his nose out the window, and I tripped on him because I was walking backwards. You heard our baby. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> um, so I sold these Bowden shorts. I actually sold the other ones yesterday. I didn't check it. It's probably the same person that bought them, but I had already shipped those ones. So um, these ones again, I think it was the same price. Ten eighty eight plus shipping. I have a dollar ninety nine into these. They were my son's. So they got wear out of them and we still made a little profit. We're just gonna ship those out in a pumpkin poly. Pumpkin poly. <laughs> Sounds like a poly pocket. <laughs> and then this is a really good sale. This is what I was like, well now we have to do a video cause this is a great sale. <laughs> Reese wants to be a speed bump today. Uh, so this is the brand Faraday, which I mentioned a few times recently. I got these retail arbitrage. Not telling where because I still haven't heard much people talk about it. I don't think I've heard anyone talk about it. I, it's a store everyone probably knows about. Right. It just we don't, don't want to artificially inflate the yeah like our, especially like I've been finding this stuff there and not a ton of it. And when I list it, there's not a ton listed, so I don't right. want there to be a ton listed. So yeah, um, these retail. I think the retail price on these is hundred forty eight dollars. I listed mine at, I think in the eighty dollar range. Um, and then I sent an offer of $69.95 plus shipping. Um, I paid $15 for them. So really, really good sale there. Very nice. Those are over a pound, so they're going out on a pad of flat rate. Alrighty. DH. These are just some Jordan kids slide handles. Picked these up at a Goodwill for $3.99, sold them for $18.09 plus shipping. Those will just go out in a poly. And the box K, this is the break even sale. So, oh. Reselling's not always glamorous, <laughs> um, but honestly, breaking even is way better than losing. Right. So, right. Uh, this is a junk food Mickey Mouse hoodie. I bought this at Nordstrom Rack probably a year, more than a year ago. Um, I have seven twenty nine dollars in, into it with, like, that's with the tax and everything that I paid. So um, it sold today for $12 with discount shipping on Posh, which means I make seven fifty five. So I get like a quarter <laughs> extra, but obviously we're packaging it up even though. Yeah, our materials. So it's, it's posh, a slight so loss. It's like a but... free box and stuff. But yeah, yeah, we have to use a Dymo label. Which is just a few cents. The plastic bags, a few cents. The stickers, a cent. The time. So, yeah. So overall, it's a loss. Yeah. But. At least I get my $7. And yeah. Honestly, I can do a lot with $7 these days. So like a lot as in I can turn seven dollars into right more by buying like you can go to the bins and buy three four or five things for seven bucks yeah you can turn seven dollars into two hundred dollars easily yes. if you go to the bins so, enough I'd rather have that seven dollars back than just have having donated it or something so oh this one's I guess in this box <laughs> yep all right so this is kind of something that <laughs> I was debating if I would even show you guys, but I figured I would. Um, so this is the brand Thinks, which is like little girls, like period panties. Um, if I found these in women's, I would probably pick them up too. You can't sell like used on these. I could tell that these are not used. Like you can tell that these are Chris out of like. What? Why are you bringing they, me into this? <laughs> I didn't say Chris. I said crisp. Oh. <laughs> I said they're crisp. <laughs> like you could tell right, that they're right. crisp. Like they have not been washed. They have not been worn. Um, I don't think they came with tags. Like, 
to begin with. So right. I sold them as new without tags. I can 100% tell that they're new without tags, but yeah. anyways, I knew that these would sell for good money. Um, I did find them at Goodwill for 99 cents each. So I have two bucks into them. They sold for 28 10 plus shipping in like a day of being listed. So yeah. if I found them again, I would pick them up, assuming that they're new without tag. Um, so yeah, you can't sell undies that are used, but. Right. I think for instance, I have some like, new underwear that I recently bought and it didn't have any tags on it. It had like a little hangers, but it was just folded and there was like a cardboard yeah. band around it. Just some old Navy boxers, you know, so um, I took that stuff off and they're in my drawer, but they're still brand new. They're yeah. unused. Could sell them as new. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to because I like them, but <laughs> <laughs> but I'm imagining that's what the situation was. They were probably put in somebody's yeah. drawer, never got used, donated, so. and yeah. Now we got them and sold them. <laughs> so definitely, I wouldn't say something to look out for. I imagine right. that will be something I'll never find again. But if right. I did, I would pick it up if it looks new without tag. Reese, really? I know. I had to close the door because all the neighborhood dogs are barking. You were over there, and now you're right here, and I need to go right there. And I think and I, I said... I think I need to go in there, too. Reese, you want to look out the window again? I think I called it a door a second ago. <laughs> are you talking to your friends? Um, so I sold these Skechers. I have 785 average cost of goods into these. They sold for 25 plus shipping on Mercari. That's an offer I just accepted. They've only been listed a couple of days. Send them out in a poly mailer because they are under a pound. Actually, well, they are under a pound, but I if I have. Well, they're not that small. Never mind. I was gonna say on? using one of my, it's not on. <laughs> um, it doesn't matter, because what I was gonna say is not gonna matter. Mm. I was gonna, we have those little random boxes, but they're not gonna fit these adult shoes. They, right, they're right, for right. like little kid shoes, so. I think these are only eight ounces, is what I'm trying to say. So I could put them in a box, okay, 10. 10. So if they were kid shoes, they would fit in a box and still stay under the 16, but they're right. not, so. I'll go into poly. <laughs> All right, this is a viewer sale box BL. Uh, this is a DoorDash bag uh, going out to Heidi. She said she loves watching our channel and she bought this for her brother who is DoorDashing. So thank you so much. Um, I got this at the bins. Have a dollar eighty into it and it sold for eleven eighty eight plus shipping. So thank you so much, Heidi. Yeah, thank you so much for the support, Heidi. Yeah, hopefully your brother can get some good use out of that. Yeah. Um, that's a little bigger than a standard poly, so we'll just do a... I don't want to... I don't... The lemon might put it slightly over the weight that the label is for. So okay. I might do an eBay bag. Let's, Let's check it see, out. Because the lemons are cooler. Yeah. Um, uh, no, we're good. It's an uh, eight ounce label that I got. So. so it's seven. Good to go Should there. be good. And last but not least, BC. Yeah, we have a couple friends that do door dashing and they seem to do pretty well with it. So. Hope if it works I, out. I would do it if, like as a side thing yeah. at night. If, I knew 100% I didn't have to talk to anybody. <laughs> like after a day, <laughs> not that I talk so much people during the day, but like at night you just kind of want to chill out and whatever. Yeah. I like driving, so, but I just don't like talking to people and stuff. So if it was just <laughs> leave it at the doorstep and you're good, then I would totally do that. <laughs> All right. Um, this is a Harley Davidson, like a corduroy button up shirt. I have 1067 into it. Uh, buyer on Facebook asked if I do 25. It was listed at 30, and I just sent him that offer. So, 25 plus he paid shipping. This is under a pound, so that'll go out. I'll do an easy mail on that one. Sorry, I had to close the window, VC. I'll open it when we're done recording. <laughs> so, yeah. That's it so far. All right, so we're gonna get this stuff packed up and I think we're just gonna cut it here and go uh, roll right into Saturday's sales. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, we're back. It's Saturday afternoon, which means the kids are home and they're kind of being a little uh, loud downstairs. So don't mind them if you hear them wrestling around. Uh, but I'm gonna turn it over to Kathy and we're gonna show you guys what we sold today for Saturday. And it's a little bit later in the day than usual, so. Yeah. All right, so box R here. Sold these Adidas sneakers. Um, I picked these up. I had an average cost of the good that 
an average cost of goods. <laughs> Tongue twister. <laughs> of um, 1064, so kind of high. I've sold these several times over for 30 to 35 dollars. I got an offer on Poshmark of 25. I think I had them listed at maybe like 38 knowing that the Posher VA would send an offer of 30 with discount shipping. So when I got the offer of 25, so if she would have got the offer from Posher VA, it would have been basically 30 with discount shipping, which mm -hmm. is like an offer of 28 or so. So then I was like, I know I could have got that much for these, but am I going to hold out for like an extra two or three bucks? No. Right. So even though it's not even quite doubling my money, it's like a $9 and some change profit. These sold in like a day or two, so. Yeah. Now I have my 1064 back that I can go buy more inventory with, and then I have a profit of nine, whatever, that I can do whatever I want with. Buy more inventory, buy a coffee, buy, pay my bills, whatever yeah. I want, so. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah, it took me a while to get to that point. Like, I normally would have countered over two, three bucks, mm -hmm. and now I just know that I'd rather have these fast sales, turn over my inventory as fast as I can, and yep. just keep the money going in and out like every day so and how are we gonna pack that oh because it's Poshmark um, yeah, yeah that's Poshmark so we'll probably a regional or shoebox mm, I think a shoebox for that pick your poison <laughs> we'll shoe toss box. that in the shoebox anytime like this is obviously not gonna fill the entire box yeah. we do have if you see over here <laughs> next to my shoes plus a bunch of recycled we've got some the paper there that we fill and we we get a lot of uh packing material and stuff from amazon so we we use that stuff to fill Even, the voids yeah. <laughs> all right um, this is just a little co by lauren conrad this is like a kohl's line it's only sold at kohl's at the moment i believe um this is just a shirt I bought for my son like over the summer. He wore it a couple times. I don't remember exactly what I paid, probably between 11 and like $13. And I sold it today for $14.15 free shipping. Um, it's under four ounces. So instead of shipping through Kitizen, I shipped on Pirate Ship for $3.12. And yeah, so I'm making probably nine, 10 bucks of whatever I spent on it back. And I was hoping that was gonna fit in one of the tiny ones, but. I think it will. I'll just do no. this person that bought it. I buy from them a lot, and then they buy from me. So I don't want to just like do a. Yeah. I don't know. This is a cute mailer it. for them. <laughs> <laughs> do you get it, Reese? Do you understand? <laughs> he gets it. He gets it. So yeah, that will go out in that poly. And then this is going out to our viewer, Kimberly. My Kimberly best, again. My best customer. <laughs> <laughs> so. Kimberly, you're way too kind to us. Yes. We do thank you for all the amazing support. Um, so she got these A6. I just listed them maybe a day or two ago, and um, I did pay up for these at $9.99, which I kind of stopped buying A6 at that price, but these were in really good shape, and I was just on a roll that day. I think I mentioned that in, when I did the haul of it all. Yeah. So I knew I could at least double my money, which is about what I did here. Um, Kimberly got them for twenty five eighty three plus shipping, and so yeah, thank you so much, Kimberly. Absolutely. Um, they're gonna go out on a padded flat rate, so easy enough. Kimberly, thank you again for your yeah. support. Thank yes. you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like it's not enough. To like what else can we say, that. right? <laughs> I love this stole. This looks like a Halloween costume. I guess you could wear a mini costume any time of year at Disney, huh? But yeah, I bought this at Goodwill just a few days ago. I paid $9.99 for the costume. It was new with tag, and I paid 99 cents for the year. So I have about $11 into it. It was getting a ton of interest like on every platform, and it sold for $36.29 plus shipping. So about $11 into $36. So. Not too bad. Not and believe bad. it or not, those two items together are under a pound, so they're just gonna go out in a big poly. For first class. Yeah. Barely, but they made it, so. Yeah. Okay, and then top shelf, some shape up. So yeah, I just listed these. So these I bought last Saturday, I remember, at the um, one of my local thrifts half off day, although these ones were not half off, so. I had a big dilemma in my head about whether or not I should buy them because they were priced at $16.99, which sounds like a crazy amount, right? To pay for a pair of shoes yes. to sell. So I looked up comps. Obviously I sell shape ups all the time. 
the SRTs, I've no, I've sold one or two other pairs of those and noticed that those ones sell faster and for more money. So I looked up comps specifically of that model and saw sold between like 60 to $70. And I said, it's probably worth it. And the sell through was like 100%. So I grabbed them for $16.99 and I just listed them yesterday. Haven't even cross posted them yet. And I woke up to them sold today for um, $54.49 plus shipping. So. Sweet. Was worth it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think it was close to a $30 profit. So those do fit in a shoebox, thankfully. And we try to mention fairly often to check your shape ups um, because people like Joey Butta being 22 <laughs> always finds the crumbly ones and they can crumble. Yeah. Um, and we kind of asked the question to our viewers a little bit uh, a few days ago of what they experience based on their geographical location. And it's, it still seems that a lot of the wetter climates yeah, and someone... like the, the coastline cities and stuff, they have a lot more issues with crumbling shoes yeah. than we do here in central, you know, United States and Colorado. So um, yeah, someone commented on my Instagram, I think they said South Carolina. So kind of like a Florida yeah, type yeah. temperature um, that they had some issues with shoes and just the, just the heat with no the air High humidity, high heat, so. high um i think also uh, another factor is use if they just sit in a closet for you know 10 years they can they can crumble too so they do need to be worn and stuff um fairly uh, often i guess yeah. <laughs> so especially on the older ones i think these srt models are a little bit newer so yeah they probably didn't get put in a closet for too long if they're at the thrift store yeah because we rarely i don't know if we've ever found a pair of crumbly shape ups i i haven't but you might have seen one or two but yeah. we don't experience that okay. as often as the people that live along the coastline cities yeah. and stuff so um yeah let us know what you think I'm, I'm always curious on these kinds of things uh what our viewers experience um so if you've if you do have any experience with that just let us know because yeah. i like to learn <laughs> this stuff because i'm a weirdo <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this one is in the closet here. Nice closet. Cool. Um, so this is a boys' car heart jacket, really, really good shape. I actually found this at Plato's Closet, even though it's kids, so they must have thought it was men's, but it was kids. They still had it priced up as if it was men's, but. Does Plato's not sell kids stuff? Huh? No, it's just like. It's supposed to be like a late teens, 20 somethings kind of store. So like American Eagle and stuff like that, but they would sell men's Carhartt. They just yeah. don't sell teen stuff. I almost um, said so a millennial store, stuff. but then I'm like, wait, we're like, millennials. This is a boy size, <laughs> like 10, 12 year old boy. They yeah. don't sell that kind of stuff. This would be like a once upon a child item. So anyways, I did pay up for it. I knew that I wouldn't even double my money, but like I knew 100% it was gonna sell and I'd make even 10, $15 profit, that's okay. So I have twenty three sixty seven into it. That's with tax and everything, and it's over forty five thirty nine plus shipping. So probably over a fifteen dollar profit. I didn't exactly look at my spreadsheet, but yeah, not too bad. And that will go out in one of these big boxes. It'll be bagged in a big poly and then go in this box. some bionic booties on the top shelf. Booties? Oh, they're there. I was like, I don't see them. These okay. <laughs> so these also came from Plato's Closet a different day. Um, I actually just bought these, I think, last week. I did pay $15 for them, and they sold for $35 plus shipping on Mercari. So about doubling my money there in a week. I'm fine with that. Oh no, this is Mercari, so they're going out. Smart post, these right? Yeah. Just a random eBay box. And then AI. Another pair of Ionic on Mercari. Um, I have $7.99 into these from Goodwill. They sold for $32 plus shipping on Mercari. Those are under a pound, so just going out in a poly mailer. CT. <laughs> I bought these 
works. They're really nice, actually. These are like a red, dark red mule cloth. Basically perfect condition. So I bought these on Facebook Marketplace for 25 plus shipping. Um, I do have 1027 into them, so I think that was just an average cost of goods. I wouldn't probably have picked those up for $10, so. Anyways, still more than double my money, and those are gonna go out in a shoe box. Did you just, did you like take those boxes, or they fell down? Okay, they fell I'm down. just going crazy. I, I've been recording you, I didn't I know, do I was like, how would you have done that? That's weird, right? We have a ghost, a ghost in the, the what is this? <laughs> I don't know. The, not an attic, but uh, well, I don't know why I'm blanking. This is a loft. There we go. I don't know why I forgot is that, that word. Is a movie or something? No, ghost but it could be. A ghost no. in the loft. Okay, then. It's Halloween. Can you guys... It's Halloween's coming up. Yeah. I probably won't do the laundry enough to wear this more than, like, two. <laughs> maybe one more time. So I was like, I'll just put it on, even though it's September. All right. I sold this Harley Davidson shirt. I actually... So you, if you watched our last What Sold, you saw me sell a Harley Davidson on Facebook. A guy asked if I do 25, I said yes. He bought it, I shipped it yesterday. Today he did the same thing that night and said, would I take 25 for another? Um, and I said yes, so he did buy another Harley shirt, 25 plus shipping. This one I noticed, so the first shirt he bought was a men's large, and then this one is a 3X, so I was like, uh-oh, either he's you know, buying it for someone else right. and meant to do it, or he either mislooked at the sizing. I just was like getting worried that well, because he made a mistake. You thought something. that because we have another one that is Oh well, yeah, a 3X, so I have right? this exact same shirt in yeah. a large. So right. I was like, uh oh, I wonder if he saw that one and then went to my shop, went back later and found Right. It and thought he was clicking on the other one, so So I messaged him just to be safe. Right. Was hoping it wasn't the wrong size. The first one that I had already shipped, there's nothing I could do right, about it. Right. So yeah, he said he bought this one for his friend, so I thought that was nice. And Man, where do I get friends like that? <laughs> he wants some Harley shirts. <laughs> if anyone wants to buy Chris a Harley shirt, no. we have our peel box. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. He would never oh. wear that. <laughs> uh, um, so, yeah. Uh, no, not originally. I meant to grab the mailing box. So that's just going to go out one of these for Facebook Marketplace. This one was over a pound. His size large yesterday was under a pound. Yeah, and that, that could be a common mistake. If you do get the regionals, they are very similar. Yeah. Um, so don't don't mix them up because we this can one. use regional A's on Poshmark, but you can't on Facebook yeah. or eBay because the ship, you know, you Poshmark did, has yeah. that deal worked out where they can use mm -hmm. any, you know, flat rates. At least rates. with the prepaid labels. Like if you want to go right. on pay for your own regional A for some reason, if right. you can get it cheap, then you can. But on Facebook, I just do prepaid, make it easy yeah. and from my email and we're good to go. So. so just be wary of that, you know, just make sure you don't accidentally grab the wrong one. Last two sales are just some of my sun shirts. Uh, this one is Whistling Flute, one of my favorites, taco truck. Um, I think I paid around $20 for this straight from their website, like last year maybe. And it sold on Mercari last night for $23 plus shipping. So probably about breaking even on that. I think that'll fit in the little polys. And last but not least, box R. That's Reese's box. <laughs> you okay, Boba? Just <laughs> I always wonder what viewers think about him just never moving, <laughs> never responding to it. He's not deaf. He's not that old. He's just, he I don't know. He's just used to us up here walking and talking safe. around, I guess. <laughs> I love it. All right. And last sale of today is just a Janie and Jack boy shirt button down. I got this for my son to wear like for Easter and it didn't fit him on Easter and it's not going to fit him the next Easter. So. I just sold it. I think I paid about $6 for this at a JBF sale, and I sold it for 12 plus shipping. So making a dollar or two profit. Nothing crazy. Probably send it out and well, let's do more of a, let's see what else we got here. Happy faces, let's do a happy face. All right, guys, got everything packed up, ready to go. And that's gonna be it, right? Was there anything else you wanted to say? No, I I saw it a lot. Oh yes, we have a on eBay and um, 
I was going to send out first, but then I was like, I don't want to have any more sales come in quite yet, so I'll send some tonight, maybe. We have some terrible news to share with you guys. I have a one zero listing day. Is that what you're talking Yes. About? <laughs> <laughs> terrible, terrible news. It was like 10 p.m., and I was like, I have things to list. I had them drafted and ready. I was just too lazy to put even <laughs> one live. So... And I said, not. it's okay. So I was part of it. <laughs> it's like, I know I still did good for the week overall. <laughs> just, uh, But yesterday I did 20 listings for $780 listed. So not bad. Because like before, when like our kids were not in school yet and it was summer and everything, I, I was like, if I can get $400 of potential profit listed, this isn't even potential profit, just potential listed. Because yeah. I usually make about half of whatever I list. So... If I listed six fifty, eventually when everything sells off, I'll probably make three to three hundred twenty five dollars of that. Sometimes a little more if it doesn't include any of our kids' stuff. But so yeah, I try to at least list double of what I hope to make. And I was around four hundred a day. Now I'm pushing six hundred a day. So yeah. Today we're about to head out, do some stuff with family, but I do have ten more shoe listings ready to go. So hopefully I'll do those tonight. But I'm not gonna. <laughs> pressure myself over yeah. it so yep that's about it that's about it like kathy said i we do have some family stuff my other brother so i have two brothers and three sisters but two of my brothers both have recently moved back to colorado and yeah we're gonna go have a barbecue to celebrate my younger brother so my older brother moved back a few months ago him and his family and my younger brother just moved back a few days ago so we haven't even seen him we're gonna go hang out and have some hot dogs and stuff yeah. and just to sell <laughs> yay I, I like hot dogs but she doesn't like hot dogs much but um it's not about you it's about my brother josh so. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go celebrate and have some fun with the family. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. I thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.